And just to let you guys know, those TVs that keep on turning on that have myself on the screen, that has Alan Wake on the screen, that's actually what happened that week that I was missing, like ever since Alice disappeared till I woke up in that car accident, a week went by and that TV is showing me what I was doing that week. I was actually making the script for departure, the manuscripts that I find. Ooh, another more shotgun ammo. So yeah, that's what the TVs are showing me. I was like writing the, the departure manuscripts and uh, you find out how I got away from that later on. Alright, it's a big guy, so I'm going to use a shotgun to take him down. He has like a bigger dark barrier. Ah. Cool. Yeah, bigger... The bigger enemies have bigger... Oh, another enemy. The bigger the enemies are, the bigger the barrier is when you're trying to bring down their light. Bring down their darkness with light. Cool. Now there's a sign over here. Whoa! God, I'm just trying to read this damn sign. I keep on trying to read the sign and I see a new enemy. There's a sign over here right next to this big tree. Don't forget it. Cool. Alright, time to press on. Holy shit. Okay. And as you can see, I'm in the forest right now when it's, uh, when it's getting really windy and foggy. So that means that enemies will pop up often. So make sure you try to get out of this area quick. Whoa. Oh, you guys kind of a big barrier. Not that big, though. Alright, see how the, the force is looking? You need to get out of here as quickly as possible. It's not safe. But still, at the same time, keep an eye out for uh, alternate paths to go to find manuscripts and stuff like that. But usually when it's windy and foggy like this, there's no alternate path. So, keep that in mind, too. It's breaking, so I'm going to start this up. Give me light. Fight with light. A uh, supply case. Could use these. Manuscript. I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew, and more. Yeah, so he's just talking about all the treasure chests that you find with the graffiti painting all around. Uh, broken phone, nothing else. Okay, over to Lover's Peak. Still a long hike there. Still pretty far away. Oh, I know this part. Get out your shotgun. Hopefully you didn't use any that much shotgun ammo. What the hell? My strategy for strategy for this fight is back away. Get some room because no enemies are gonna attack you from behind, so just get some distance so they can all come towards you. Shit, he's getting too close. Ah, I'm running out of battery. Alright, we need to get some more space. There we go. Boom. Ow. It's alright. I'm not gonna waste my shotgun ammo on these guys though. They're too weak. What do you think that you're doing? Got the battery. Oh shit. Oh! Take that. Cool. Now if you don't get... Don't go out there like when you first see those enemies don't go into like the middle and then try to fight them because you'll surround yourself and it's a good way to die they'll come from every direction just like when you first see them start heading backwards so you can get some breathing room that way they won't all like gang up on you that's the best way to deal with them I mean you could be like on nightmare mode it's really hard to fight them if you want to you could just like run towards that light over here the safe haven so that's another thing, but I, I would only suggest that for nightmare mode. You can actually fight them here on normal, and probably hard too. But nightmare mode, you know, they take more damage, take more shots to go down, and... Oh yeah, here's a sign right over here too. This is the last sign of this episode, so keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, so like I said, in nightmare mode, the enemies 
you know, take more bullets to go down, and their light barrier, sh uh, their dark barrier shields uh, take a long time to go down. Manuscript on this rock. Agent Nightingale didn't want to be in Bright Falls. These little communities revolted him, and he didn't like the trees or the coffee. He now knew that impossible horrors lurked behind the storefronts and smiles. He desperately wanted to turn the car around and just drive until he passed out or ran out of road and booze. But he had a job to do. He had a rider to catch, at any cost. That's a character that I'm going to meet soon, Agent Nightingale from the FBI. So, I'm going to meet him soon enough. This, the, the manuscript is telling me that he just arrived here. And he's looking for me. And I had to use that button so that I can get on this gondola. All right, can it go any slower? Onward to victory! Flashlights, kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but. Let's move! I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake! You better keep up! So now I gotta work side by side with the kidnapper. And I have no weapon, so I gotta be his... I gotta use my flashlight on... Oh, shit! I gotta use my flashlight while he shoots them. Ooh! Holy crap. How dare you. Alright, flare time. Learn to love this weapon. Well, not really a weapon, another light source. It's really good. while I get these boards off. Give me the gun. Yeah, <laughs> no can do, Wake. Are you kidding? Give me the gun! No time for fact. So basically what I do for this part is, since I have no weapon, I just hold him off until he gets the gate open. And that's basically about it. So the flare is the best weapon, best tool to use for this part because they back away once you uh, light the flare. So you got a couple of moments of breathing room. What the hell? Some guy over there? Yeah, it sure is. Oh my god. Oh! And that slow motion does it by itself. I don't activate it. Like, it only does it when you're about to get hit and they're like all surrounding you. That's when the slow motion happens. Okay, it's open. Move it or lose it. So screw the enemies. I'm just gonna go through the door and go to the safe haven. better now wake all cozy and safe yeah I am actually better get ready they'll be on us soon just a reminder this kidnapper was on the boat with me when I arrived at Bright Falls so he was planning to kidnap Alice all along 
Yeah, that's why I told you to remember him.